Hello, it's me again. I just thought I'd quickly share something I figured out regarding head turns and head tilts. Let's dive right into the matter. So, in Moho, uh, normally I, if I pull up the action panel here, uh, I have a head turn. So I do most of my characters in three-quarter view and then I, I only do the head turn from the three-quarter of one side to the three-quarter of the other side. I usually never do full side views because it's a view you use very rarely and I don't do 360s because I don't see the point in spending a lot of time and effort into making your rig more complicated so it can do certain turns that you use one out of a hundred. In that rare case when I need a, a, a complete side view I would do a manual animation of that. Uh, and with back views what I usually do is I just flip it. So I just take the front view, uh, make a copy, uh, hide a few parts of the face and, uh, and, and reorder the layers a bit and most of the time it's fine for a back view of that character. And then you can just flip, you can just switch between two rigs. It's much easier, much less work. And especially since I'm permanently updating my rig. So while I'm working on any kind of episode, especially if it's the first episode of a new series, I tend to add hand shapes, I tend to tweak things, improve the head turn, improve this, improve that. And so uh, within one ep the first episode, usually I advance my rig by about 10 to 20 versions. After that, it's far less. You might add the occasional hand you need, but uh, still you don't want to have to then have a super complicated rig that updating is complete hell. Um, anyway, let's dive right into it. So here's the head turn. Where is it? FGH head turn. And as you can see here on the timeline, that's what it does. So it goes from one three quarter to the other three quarter. That's it. It's not so much happening here. I mean, I'm not going to explain how, how this works here. So I have this head face layer where, where all the relayering is happening in here. So when I, as you can see, those squares at the bottom too, they're basically, um, those are layer orders, right? Layer reorderings. Um, so, so when I go through this, you can see on the right side here, you can see how, the la how some layers start reordering a bit. So far, so good. Works fine, right? No problem. Okay. Then there's the head tilt, which is a bit different because this one just does a, an absolutely straight movement here and a bit of reordering where that's the head tilt. You do some pseudo 3D, you know, if, if you tilt your head, of course, your, your eyes and your nose, the distance changes here a bit. The mouth and the nose distance changes as well. So you can't just move everything down. That would be this, that's this movement, but it's this movement. So you, you have to rearrange things a little bit, which is fine, you know, see how tilt, I'm just doing a bit of like goes down here. It's not much, it's very subtle. It's usually more extreme if it goes up. Again, I'm not moving the whole face. I'm slightly changing the um, um, angle of the nose as well. And you think, okay, that's fine, great, wonderful. So, so if I want to animate this guy, um, I do my head turn, it's fine, do my head tilt, oh everything works fine, cool. I do, I have my head tilt up here and then he has to turn the head, keeping the head up and then, uh, well, suboptimal. What about down? Oh, Frankenstein. So basically what happens is that uh, as long as you're on one side of this with a, with a tilt, it works. And as long as I'm here, it still works mostly. Oh, there, there's one thing I might have missed here. Um, this is an older rig, it's kind of broken anyway. Uh, but as soon as you, as you go across the center here, stuff starts to get really weird. Like, oh my God, oh my God. Same with Hamburg here, by the way. I have my head turn. I have my head turn, works fine, no problem. I have my head tilt, works fine. And here it's a bit more you know, you can see the cap, the cap kind of vanishing a bit behind the head when he turns up, of course, you know, so, and, and the nose, because there's a very long nose, you have to work with angles and the hair at the back and the front and stuff is, is shifting around. But as soon as I turn the head to the other side and I do this head, everything goes whack and weird. And you could, of course, spend hours and hours and days and forever to, to fix this. And some super geniuses can do this, but it's a huge effort. And actually, there's an easier way to fix this, I found. I, I've already 
notice that many people when they do head turns they only do half head turns what i call them from like the front to the side and then when if you, then if you do your your head tills with that it works just fine it works just fine it's no problem the problem is always when you go from one side to the other and you have a tilt that was originally made for the for the other side it always falls apart um, so i thought okay uh, one thing one animator did was oh he just have, does half a head turn nothing breaks and he just flips the head bone that of course only works if your if your neck is entirely flexi bound to the body uh, otherwise it'll you have this twist in the neck or if you have like this guy you have a guy, character that has no neck so the the head is entirely detached from the body and then if you flip the bone if you flip the head bone it's actually no big deal you can just flip the head bone right just go there boom and you flip your head bone and there you go no problem right you could do this awesome great you know um problem solved right let's all go home but what happens because i flipped the bone now if i do a head turn now it goes the other way around and it goes weird by the way i'm gonna fix the head tilt here it goes so I, I turn the head dial to the right but it goes to the left this is a bit of confusing but that's not all um let me just go back to the original thingy here so this one makes sense i turn the head turn to the left uh, to the right for christ's sake and it moves to the right okay uh, i also have this eye widget which is right now works perfectly in sync with the eyes right okay i'm gonna flip my bone i'm gonna do my uh, it's already the wrong way around and now it's everything's reverse so it's super awkward to even figure out where to place the eyes so this is something that is just doesn't work well so i thought okay this there's, there's several ways of fixing this one is um maybe i just should go and uh, i just show the height this is the whole widget here i just should go and bind right now all these bones here are actually bound to this this um, bone up here so i so this is just so i can actually move this um the idea is i can i can move this rig around if it gets in the way and blah blah but i might have got have to give up part of this convenience um so that i can i could just go and parent this these bones all to the head and when i flip the head the dial will flip as well but there's still no good solution to I want the head turn to be a head turn. It's the other thing is, of course, if you flip it manually, every time you want the, t the head just to turn, where normally you could just have a lever and say head turn, you're done. In this case, you have to go and uh, do a half a head turn, flip your bone, mess around, and it felt like it's just one extra step that every single time you want to do it is just annoying and gets in the way. So I thought, okay, what about if I just make this whole bone flipping part of the head turn and it's what I've done and it comes with some downsides but mostly upsides so going back to Frank here this is the new Frank with a new head turn I'm going to show you how this works here I have to do it on frame one that's the first down downside it's not going to work fully properly on frame zero um, because the bone flipping of course doesn't work on frame zero um, but here now I have a head turn and as you can see the this eye widget also and there's also the squash widget for the head flips with the bone and the nice thing is i have my head tilt now and it just works most here it goes a bit whack it's something i still might want to fix but uh most of the time if it's a quick flip it's not going to get in the way this is by the way just a rendering error as soon as i it's just weird um the, rend the rendering engine is kind of new on in moho they rewrote it and it has still some weird quirks uh, and anyway so for most part it just works finally um, so what i've done to show you just very quickly head turn head turn boom boom okay let's move this thing up a bit so i can see better so um basically i'm let's pick the uh, head base what i'm doing here is basically i'm uh, i'm animating the the the, mo the movement here that's the head base right now you can see it's why it's highlighted up to the center and i flip at frame 25 so i always do these uh smart bone animations uh, up to frame 48 that's just my thing you can go up to 72 96 whatever you think makes sense for you this is my standard thingy so 24 is the middle it's the center view and at, at frame 25, I flip the thing. Uh, 
And what I basically then do with the, for the rest of it is I just copy all these frames over to 48 and I copy all this stuff over to 36. So it does exactly the same. It's mirrored. It's basically just mirrored. It's all it does. Uh, same for the relayering here. Basically, I go back to the old layering from here. I copied it over. That's all I do. Uh, a good way to make sure this really works, it was a bit finicky because it has to be an exact mirror at the center or it's not going to be, when you flip it, it has to, it, you don't want a jaggy thing when you flip it, right? So you have to make sure that basically frame 24 and whatever you flip afterwards on frame 25 is very, very close. It, it doesn't have to be exactly the same outline but very close so it doesn't feel like there's a janky kind of jump happening and the easiest you have to do is if you go onion skin you basically just go to frame um, 25 where you flipped already and check out frame 24 or you can go the other way around if you want to fix it um, so you, you can now you can now go in and, and make sure everything as you can see here left goes right right goes left so you can just make sure that left and right that they perfectly match you know if i move stuff here can you see the green line is basically what's going to happen on, f on the next frame uh, and so you can make sure that it all just lines up perfectly here and it's, it's very very symmetric uh, so you know that this is something you can only do for the head of course because body turns are quite different but so far works quite well um, I can't really see any downsides and I can only recommend uh, if you want to have want to do less work you only need to do half a, a head turn to the front and the rest you can just copy over. You do this for every eye, for a nose, for every part of the nose, for every part of the ear. And uh, it was fairly quick. Didn't take me, uh, it took me much less time than doing the full head turn and has solved my problems so far. So just for you to share this. So this is how I now do head turns. I have re-rigged, as you can see, Frank and Hamburg. I will be re-rigging other characters to use the same head turn to save me a lot of work and uh, headaches. And I hope this is useful for you guys too. Hope to see you again here. Subscribe. What else? Oh, the bell. Yeah, I never use the bell thing because I usually just go into the uh, subscribe subscribe tab on YouTube. But if, you, if you're the guy who only checks out your, your home screen and want to make sure that all the videos that you, that you, that I'm posting are in there when they, when I publish a new one, you might want to hit the bell button too.